most successful live stream and dolphins are just coming right to us. This is incredible, guys. This is so lucky, and I am so grateful for you guys that are here right now. This is so awesome. Witnessing history, this is the first time ever that live streaming has been done underwater, and you guys are here for it. What's up, guys? My name is Change Your Danger. Right here is footage from a live stream that I just did for the first time ever underwater in the ocean. Now, I wish that I could claim that I was the first one ever to live stream underwater, but I just found out after posting this today that that title was actually taken from me by someone named Evan and Caitlin. It's YouTubers or Twitch streamers, I'm not really sure, but I went and looked at their footage. They did do an underwater stream. Here I was minding my business, thinking that I would take what I was doing in the ocean and making videos and then go live with it for the first time ever that nobody had ever seen underwater live streaming and that I would be the world first is very important to me as something that I worked really hard for coming up with the technology, which I'll show you guys in a second. And then I found out that it was taken from me. So in today's video, what we're gonna talk about is I'm gonna show you my build for underwater live streaming. I'm gonna do a quick review of their video, checking out what they did, what I think they should have done and analyzing a timeline for their first ever underwater live stream. And then I have a surprising twist for who actually was the first one to ever live stream underwater. If you've been following me for a while, probably not gonna surprise you. So before we get into it, go down and smash the subscribe button if you wanna see videos like this out in the ocean in Hawaii live with the streaming setup that I built by myself. And then go ahead and ring the bell too. It's the best way to make sure you get notified when those live streams come on. And then of course, when I post my regular YouTube videos as well. So if you're coming from TikTok today, go ahead and smash the water droplets emoji. Either one, they both work. I wanna know who's coming from TikTok. I love you guys from TikTok. You guys are super awesome and I appreciate your support here. I'm excited to show you guys all of the stuff that I've been working on and then how cool it was to do this live stream underwater. And then we'll do a quick review of some of the stream highlights so you can see the best moments because some crazy stuff happened out there that day. It was honestly a super lucky day to have the live stream thing finally work for a long period of time. So without any further ado, let's get into the video. So I didn't really have a planning phase for my build. I sort of just went online, looked at what it was available and then bought it and then started making it. So we start with this GoPro housing that has this screw on component and when you buy it you can actually unscrew that thing but I just caked it with silicone so that I could get two wires coming out that's power and HDMI and then it goes down to this box that uh, has two 18650 batteries and then this uh, cheap USB thing that I found where you just solder the things together and then you're able to recharge 18650s. And so I use that to power the GoPro so that it'll last about three hours in the water. And then of course I have my HDMI connection so that I can connect that micro HDMI and the GoPro to a hundred foot HDMI cable that goes up to the surface. And then this just goes along the GoPro stick and then goes into this cable housing right away. I had to get four pieces of this 25 foot cable housing and then I wrapped it together lots and lots of cable ties to go into this thing so that it all gets managed together this is actually a really clean build I tried to do other things before without the cable housing and it was a total mess so I was really happy when I finally figured out this solution and then just to show you guys what's on the inside here it's this poly something rope it's not cotton it's not nylon so and then this float thing that's actually a foam insert for window sealing and then of course the 100 foot HDMI cable. So it's just to keep it floating. And then the rope is to make it so that when I pull tension on it, I'm not putting tension on the HDMI cable. And then you see we have 100 feet of that going all the way to this box, which is a Pelican box. And that contains the Live View Solo. So this Pelican box has this HDMI cable passing straight through it. And once again, I just caked it up with silicone so that it would seal. And then it didn't actually leak in the water. So somehow that was a good job right there. That HDMI plugs into the Live View Solo unit, which was a pretty expensive thing, but it works okay for the purposes. Like you saw in the video, we have these two Verizon wireless devices. These things are $200 each new. So that was not cheap to be able to hook up SIM cards. And then I had to put an extra line on my mobile plan. So I I'm taking up two lines now on the mobile plan. One of them 
is dedicated just to this because uh, I don't need to use two phones for myself. And then I've got this huge USB power thing. I think this thing alone was like a hundred bucks. I'll, uh, I'll put a list of all the stuff that I got on Amazon down in the description. But yeah, this thing is huge and super heavy, but it keeps the thing going for a long time. So that's super awesome. So I posted this teaser on TikTok that basically said like, I'm going live, come check it out. This is the first time it's ever been done, live stream underwater. And then I got a couple comments that were like, no, actually Evan and Caitlin, blah, blah, blah. They did it before you. And I was like, what? Like, there's no way. Because I had tried to do this a month ago. Nobody said anything about it. And so I was like, okay, why all of a sudden is there people saying that someone else had just done this? And so I went and Googled it and found Evan and Caitlin and then very first video at the top of it, how we attempted the world's world's first fully underwater live stream. And so I'm like, uh, am I nothing to you? And so I sort of flipped through it and I'm like, okay, they're talking about how to make it. And then now that I'm looking at this diagram of theirs, it looks like they uh, were using it to a computer, which would make it a lot easier. Um, and then apparently they have this waterproof keyboard. It looks like, uh, I don't know what kind of YouTubers these guys are. Then I got to this part and I was like, okay, that looks like a really serious build. But then if you look, he's got like all these crazy professional tools. I had nothing like that when I built mine. Like you can tell from looking at my build that I just showed you, like I did it like in my dad's garage with whatever we had. And it was like, uh, use this like soldering iron to melt through the plastic and then shove the HDMI cable through it and then just, drench it in silicone and that should work. So they have like a really nice build. Like if I could build something this high quality, mine would have been perfect like from the get go. So when I look at their build, I'm like, wow, this is so robust. Like, are you guys taking out in the ocean? Like what's going on? And then I zoom forward some more and then I'm like, oh, the pool at their house. Like, oh, hold on. They have these weird like full face, uh, uh, scuba dive things on. Like what is gonna, like, are they really gonna scuba dive in a swimming pool? Um, and then, so we continue to skip through, they're doing some kind of leak testing. Yeah, I remember being in those stages. This was about December, January for me, cause I first started building mine in December. I had a lot of setbacks along the way, like buying the, the live view broadcaster box, that was a thousand dollars. I thought I was gonna get paid for work that I did in September, in February. So I maxed out my credit card to buy this thing, taking this entrepreneur risk thinking, okay, I'll be able to start live streaming. I'll be able to generate revenue. This will be a brand new thing nobody's ever seen before. So I took a huge risk on this, literally maxed out my credit card, had absolutely no money. And then because of like time constraints, I didn't get paid on time. I didn't end up getting paid until March. Um, I could not continue to build it. And so I literally just had to put it on hold. Couldn't put any time into it. So finally I started to have time like a month or two ago and was like, okay, let's like start putting some energy into this, putting some work into it so that I can finally get it going. And then about a month ago, which I have the receipts for right here. I did my very first attempt. I posted a TikTok teaser and then I went out in the water and the stream was failing right away. There's a problem with YouTube where if you're broadcasting with too low of speed, it'll cut it off. So I was about a thousand kilobytes per second. I think you need about two or 3000 to have a good connection and it did not like it. So. I was trying to broadcast. I got about 30 seconds in, put it under the water, and then it cut off. So it had nothing to do with the thing failing. Everything worked. I just didn't have good enough service because I was out in the middle of nowhere, all the way at the end of the island, far away from any cell towers, trying to get the best, most beautiful water for my first ever live stream because I wanted to give an amazing product to you guys. It didn't quite work, but I was like, okay, like I'm on the path. This is like, world first live streaming, free diving underwater. Like nobody's done anything like this. And then when I post mine, I get all these messages that are saying, Evan and Caitlin did it, Evan and Caitlin did it. And then I come and look and yeah, the build is sick. Like they've done a really good job on it, but the resources that they must have had were incredible. Like it looks like something that like a full TV production company would build. And I would not be surprised if their full box costed them like four or $5,000. I'll let you guys know that mine was about 2000 and it was like, cutting corners everywhere I could, like spending the least amount of money. The last thing that I had to do was spend $45 to get two SIM cards to work at the same time so that I would have enough broadcast strength. And that $45 was like, 
I don't know if I can do it. <laughs> like, I don't know if this is worth investing in because I have to make every single dollar count. Then as we get to it, we keep watching this super long video that they put up. Um, they have a leak issue. I remember having my leak issues in the beginning. I was fi finally able to fix them. And then they go to get in the water in this crazy scuba gear. And then yes, finally live streaming underwater, but it's in a swimming pool with an action cam inside of a big dry box. Like they could have just like put the action cam in and none of the other stuff. So it's really overproduced, but then I don't see it as being super excited. Um, so I'm really confused about all of this stuff. I don't know them, so I don't know if they're actually like really funny or something. For you guys, what I need from you is I need you to go to this video and tell them you are not the world first because I have the receipts from five years ago. Let's check it out. So this is, um, you can look up in the corner. Oh, it says about four years ago. Somewhere it said five. I'm not sure exactly when it was. April 6, 2016. So four years ago, that's a little bit better. So four years ago, this is my live stream on Facebook. So right here we have- Angry emoji, if you can see underwater. Clear video underwater. If you can even hear me. Four years ago, communicating with the stream. Uh, I was in touch with chat. Wasn't that many people on it because I wasn't a famous Twitch streamer back then and I'm not now, but this is an underwater live stream from four years ago. And I honestly wouldn't be surprised if I'm not even the first person to do it. Yeah, we got amazing video that day from out in the ocean in Hawaii, live streaming, not in a swimming pool, not with uh, snorkel or with scuba gear like these guys out there swimming underwater, live streaming. So I have a big beef with someone coming out and saying we did it first when they didn't because I've been working on this for so long. I've been doing this for as long as I have been doing social media. I've been trying to find a way to live stream underwater. I finally built my thing. It finally worked. And then I find out that four days ago, someone posted a video saying that they did it first. So I'm upset. Um, I feel like I have a right to be because I worked really hard for this. And um, if you guys feel like I deserve that title of being the world first underwater live stream, then I would like it if you went and commented on their video and told them you're wrong. Change your title, you're wrong. Um, I've DM'd them, I've commented on their video. I'm not trying to be hostile, just said, hey, just so you guys know, I did this a long time ago. Don't try to claim it. Like I did it first and recognize that. Whew, so that's it for me being a uh, negative Nancy on here. Now let's go and check out some amazing, amazing stream highlights from this epic day out in the ocean. So much crazy stuff happened. It was seriously so cool. I felt super lucky to have all these things happen while we're out in the ocean and you just couldn't have planned it better on the very first time when the live stream stuck for longer than 30 seconds. So let's go check out the clips right now. Okay, so we're about to get into these clips, but the craziest thing that happened was before I could get the live stream working, there was something wrong with like an HDMI cable or something. It was saying that there was no camera and I was like, bro, the GoPro is right there. And so it was all, I was having all these malfunctions and then the dolphin swam five feet from me and I was just like, Ah, like why can't I be live streaming right now? But it didn't matter because sure enough, six minutes after I started the live stream, I checked it on the timer. The dolphins came and swam with us. You guys can go back to the long video if you want or just check out the stream highlights right here. So let's get right into it. Very first, we saw the dolphins coming. I was just like, oh my gosh, there is this huge pot of dolphins coming right to us. I was like, stay completely still. Don't get too excited oh and go God, swim with them. Live with 228 people watching. Okay, so it worked. Did you guys see the dolphins? So cool. Okay, cool. Yeah, I had no idea if it was actually working, so that's really awesome. I'm looking at chat right now, by, by the way, guys. Hi, everyone. They're coming towards us. Okay, we're gonna see the dolphins again. Everyone spam dolphin emoji if you see the dolphin. Yeah, and so I'm using Brittany's phone to look at chat. I have no idea what's going on in chat. I didn't even know if it was actually live. So then when I went and checked it, I was like, oh my gosh, we're actually rolling right now. We're actually doing this. Like all of my hard work is paying off. Finally, like like years of thinking about this, months of preparation, lots of money invested. And then finally the manifestation came when the dolphin swam right below us. Didn't have to do anything, just sat still in the water. And this amazing pot of dolphins came and frolicked all in front of us, dancing, playing. Here, Brittany, I can't believe it. First successful live stream and dolphins are just coming right to us. <laughs> this is incredible, guys. This is so lucky, and I am so grateful for you guys that are here right now. This is so awesome. Witnessing history. This is the first time ever that live streaming has been done underwater, and you guys are here for it. Or so I thought. So then I went down because I wanted to test the depth. I had not dove down yet. So I was like, okay, let's see how deep this thing can go. 
This is about 20 feet that I tested it going to the bottom. What's interesting is that the line that is attached to it that holds the HDMI cable actually floats too much. So it's pulling you back up to the surface. And I was getting some glitches when it would kind of kink down there. The HDMI cable for hundred feet is actually pretty cheap. I think it was only like a hundred dollars. So when you think about a hundred foot HDMI cable for only a hundred dollars, that's actually pretty cheap. So then after that, I was like, okay, let's blow a bubble ring. And so I went down and blew a bubble ring. And then I actually got a really, really good one. I was super lucky and I was like, okay, like, let's do it. Like, so I was running out of breath. I was like, I don't care. I have to get this on video. This is so sick. Like getting a ball ring on live stream. Come on. Bye, bubble ring. Let's go. That was sick. I hope you guys like that. Okay, and then Brittany was like, all right, it's my turn. Well, not necessarily. I was like, Brittany, go do yours because I wanted to film some of Brittany and not just selfies the whole time. And Brittany is still practicing go, so go easy on her bubble ring technique. She's still working on it, but she's doing a really good job. She's getting ring-shaped bubbles, which is how you start. And you just have to keep practicing. If you guys out there are trying to do bubble rings, just keep practicing at it. You'll get it eventually. And then I saw this little eel, and I thought, how cool is it that we're showing live animals underwater and people at home are watching it like what an animal is doing in that moment that is just insane to me and then there we go Brittany got a little bit better ring really really good job um and she got some really good ones but i wasn't watching and she didn't she's not able to like ping me while i'm underwater you know so i totally missed it um and then i went and dropped the gopro because someone on stream on, on chat asked me to and then i went upside down to say hi and don't worry when i touched the reef down there it wasn't coral it was just rock so don't worry i didn't touch any coral reef which is different than rock reef and i was like do you want to go up and so then we we're like okay let's go back up and then i want to show her some more of the fishies down there because there's so many fat fish to show and i just again like so cool to show live animals underwater out in the ocean and then we saw a sea turtle come on and this one happened to have a hook in it, which Brittany pointed out, um, but you can't really do anything about hooks that have caught onto sea turtles, mm -hmm. unless you can get the turtle up on a boat, and that's a lot of work, and you gotta have proper equipment, like gloves, and we didn't have it. And then the dolphins just kept coming back. I was like, can't get enough of this. And they were so close, you can hear how stoked I was. And you hear all of them making noise. They're doing all their clicks and pops and screeching. That's them making all of that noise that whole time. So that was just so crazy how close they got, how many there were, and, um, this clip I can see is kind of long, but I just, I didn't care. Like I was like, I got to put the whole dolphin clip in here just because it was so amazing to have so many dolphins swimming around us and just like intertwining underwater and like, and just sitting there watching them. And for you guys to enjoy it at home, that to me is like so cool. And remember guys, super, super important. Never, ever chase the dolphins, never move when you're in the water with the dolphins if they have to happen to come to you. And then of course, don't go to SeaWorld, Sea Life Park, whatever, um, where they have dolphin exhibits. That is so bad for their health. It's torture, it's slavery. Please do not support these parks that hold dolphins captive. Those dolphins are having a freaking party. Yeah. That is so crazy. I told And you know, the dolphins just kept coming back. Like I said, I didn't want to cut any of this because I just thought it was so cool to be on live stream for the first time with my system working really well and to have all these dolphins. So you can see I'm just super stoked about it. Um, and remember, it wasn't the first time I ever live streamed. First time I live streamed was years ago. And then the first time that this machine I live streamed with was over a month ago. So keep all that in mind. And then I found some fishing line. Um, I wasn't able to hold the thing while I was pulling it because I needed both hands. And then after that, uh, we made our way in. Um, now there's a lot of trouble to get this thing in and out of the water. It was like two feet waves there, which doesn't seem that big and normally it wouldn't be a problem for me at all. But with this big box on top of the surfboard on the way out, I literally had to push the whole surfboard and the box underwater. So this thing that has like $1,500 of equipment, broadcasting equipment, I'm pushing it underwater, hoping that it doesn't leak. And um, it actually disconnected the stream on the way out. So we did two streams this morning. Uh, one of them was 30 minutes like on the beach getting out there and another one was an hour and 30 minutes actually in the water um, so next time I'm gonna try just start it out in the water because that seems to be easier anyways but yeah it was like 
I was so upset when I got out and the freaking box stopped working and I was like, what can I do? Like my hands are wet. Like I can't like, so I was opening it and like trying to carefully like dry my hands off and then touch it. And it was just mayhem out there. But luckily I was able to figure it out and then getting back in, we got it too. Everything still works now. I didn't break anything, which is like just such a blessing that I was able to keep all the equipment working so that I can try it again next time. Um, so right now I'm working on some technology to be able to interact with you guys on chat, just like how Evan and Caitlin had. I have to admit they beat me on that part of the build having interaction with chat. That is super cool that they were able to incorporate it, albeit a little bit easier when you have it hooked up to a computer because then you can just run the stuff from the computer. But I'm working with my brother who's also a mechanical engineer. He's just now getting an internship at Tesla. So everyone go in the comments and saying congratulations Ian on your Tesla internship. That's crazy. So he's going to help me develop a Raspberry Pi screen that will just give me a readout of chat that's super easy to use and then I'll be able to communicate with you guys because I really want to be closer in touch with you guys while I'm out in the water interacting with the sea life and the ocean and the more that we can build this thing, the better it'll be. And then eventually we'll be doing some really amazing streams. So that's it for today, guys. I, I really, really appreciate your support on this. I wanna ask you for it too, because to get this thing going, we really need a lot of funding. That's gonna be the hardest part is because all of this just costs a lot of money. But then once it starts working, I know that people will jump in, they'll wanna donate everything. So once it starts going, it'll be good. But for right now, it's really tough. So uh, if you like this video, share this video, comment on the video, subscribe, whatever all of it helps i really appreciate it and then of course there's the memberships and the merch and the other ways to contribute i know it's all down there the applause all that stuff is a really really good way to support me and help me grow in my pursuit to do this live streaming thing and if you guys think that i should do a gofundme or something because youtube is taking about half of the money that you guys contribute through youtube but if you think that i should do a gofundme maybe i'll do that but i just i feel weird straight up asking for money i would rather it be just earned through the youtube ad revenue i don't know and then of course, if there's any sponsors out there that want to get in early on doing this live streaming underwater project with me, I, I want to be doing this like once or twice a week, at least out there in the water, shark dives, cleaning up trash, finding sea turtles, going through caves, like once I can really get the thing strong. So there's a lot, a lot of potential to be filming some really cool stuff out there. And I just really appreciate your guys' support as we move towards that goal. So. That's it, I won't drag this video out any longer. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you guys next time. That's it for me, bye.